The government says that it will continue to exercise prudence in its public expenditure and always act in the interests of Singaporeans and Singapore. Minister in the Prime Minister's office, Indrani Raja, was responding to a call by non-constituent CMP Leong Man Wai in Parliament for the government to rein in its public expenditures. Heidi Ng with more. In the spotlight, the financial reasoning behind two recent significant public expenditures. First, the $900 million in funding support for Singapore Press Holdings Media Trust. And then, the $1.5 billion termination cost for the Singapore Sports Hub. NCMP Leung Man Wai says these would cost $2.4 billion in all. He believes the government may have been overly generous and worries that this could lead to a waste of taxpayers' money. $2.4 billion can go a long way in helping Singaporeans who are struggling financially. For example, it is enough to exempt average Singaporeans from two years of additional 2% of GST, or to fund 10 years of Comcare cash payouts for the poor Singaporeans. In her rebuttal, Minister in the Prime Minister's office Indrani Raja says his allegations are completely without basis. She says these matters have been explained many times. It's also necessary in order to support our vernacular print media, the Malay, Chinese and Tamil press, which play a crucial role in preserving our mother tongues and cultural inheritance. What Mr Leung fails to understand is that the support put in by the government for SPH Media Trust is because there are certain things that we hold dear. One, it is to have a media that can see things through a Singaporean lens and that can report things from a domestic viewpoint. That is very important to us. Yet, she says he continues to pursue them repeatedly, pooling certain figures, then building on them and attempting to link them to a completely unrelated issue. A charitable view is that Mr Leung genuinely does not understand the expenditure figures or the rationale that has been explained. But as he constantly reminds us and reminded us again today, he has 30 years experience in business and financial management. So he shouldn't have any difficulty understanding them. So if objectively the rationale, the figures are laid out, and if he does understand them, then there's only one other conclusion which is that this can only be a deliberate and cynical attempt to stoke anxiety and disquiet, confuse Singaporeans and damage the government. The way she put it is that this information is totally useless. It doesn't help the, the explanation of the situation. If the government did not bother to answer the questions I raised, can the government allege that the information is not useful? And so all my allegations are without basis. But Ms Indrani says that every time the government explained a set of figures, Mr Leong would keep questioning with different scenarios. She urged members of the House and Singaporeans to reject his allegations and support the government so that it can continue to sustain good governance and sound policies for the benefit of all Singaporeans.